according to a lead daily, 373,391 girls play soccer, and 412, 351 boys play soccer. Soccer isn't just a normal professional career, but if you want to try and go for it, I say go for it. Playing soccer is a way to keep you cool, happy, and just to have fun. Thanks to some facts I found, not only is it hard, it is hard, but it shouldn't stop you from trying to reach your, trying to reach that goal. It should keep you, it should only make you keep going. Today I'm going to tell you about the three stars that are on their uniforms. Some some of the three three important three players most known and how they're in how they're an inspiration to boys and girls. You may have watched the you may or may have not watched the World Cup last year and you may not have known that was a six it took us 16 years to win that World Cup. The three stars on their shirts above their team crest are among the amount of championships that they have won. 1991, 1999, and now 2015. Before that final game against Japan, we played them in, 2000, in 2011, and we sadly lost by penalty kicks 3-1. And since we couldn't, since we hadn't won since 1999, they called it haunted by the Niners. In that final game against Japan, we finally did it. We broke that haunting, and now we have those three stars. Now that I told you about the three stars, let's talk about some well-known players. The top one on the left. That's Carly Lloyd. She's a center midfielder. Her best memory was winning that World Cup. And her best, another best moment was in 2008 when she was soccer player of the year. The other one in the middle, that's Amy Wambach. She attended University of Florida and she set a record on that school of 96 goals. She's a, she plays forward and she's known for her most dangerous corner kicks. Last but not least is Alex Morgan. She didn't play <coughs> she was 14 years old. Her one of her best moments was when she got a gold medal at the 2012 Summer Olympics, and she's also a forward. Now that I told you about some important, some important players, let's talk about how they became an inspiration. They gave kids a whole new meaning on the game. And now, if they want to be drafted, they're going to be 1 in 900 and 986 kids get drafted into the professional soccer league. According to Barack Obama, playing like a girl means you're a badass. But they taught kids that, it, that it's the best way they won, the best way, and the right way. Winning that World Cup, they started the She Believes Cup. And it's mostly to tell, tell kids success stories from women from, from different businesses. And it's just, they're teaching a young, a young generation to go for their dreams and nothing should stop them. Thanks to Alex Morgan, a girl named Six Orange got her dream of getting a career in soccer. She started playing soccer at four years old. She looked up to Alex Morgan, and like I said, thanks to Alex Morgan, she is now on the kicks. And in the pilot episode, she said that it was awesome to meet her, really chill, chill gave him cool, good soccer tips, and that it was, it was really fun to, be, to work with her just in that one episode. As you can see, working hard, and as you can see, working hard can get you big. We talked about, like I said, working hard, some of the important players, and how they became an inspiration. 
thank you for listening to my speech on not only the women's, the United States women's soccer team, but about six more.